In a recent development, reports from the Telegram account Mazuza on October 25, 2024, indicate that Iran has obtained a license from Russia to domestically produce Su-30 and Su-35 fighter jets. This decision follows significant discussions held during the BRICS summit in Kazan, Russia, from October 22 to 24, 2024. According to these reports, the Iranian Air Force plans to manufacture between 48 and 72 Su-35 fighter jets, although the number of Su-30 jets to be produced remains unspecified. This potential production deal marks a significant milestone in Iran's ongoing efforts to enhance its air capabilities. The Su-30 and Su-35 models are classified as fourth-generation, multirole supersonic fighter jets, renowned for their advanced capabilities. The Su-35 is equipped with an advanced radar system capable of detecting targets at extended ranges and is armed with a diverse array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, enhancing its versatility on the battlefield. The Su-30, designed as a two-seater, offers robust capabilities for air superiority missions as well as strikes on ground and naval targets. It features in-flight refueling and advanced navigation and control systems, making it a versatile asset for various mission types. Iran has been steadily expanding its military aviation resources through partnerships and acquisitions. As early as November 2023, the Iranian government confirmed the acquisition of several Russian aircraft, including the Mil Mi-28 attack helicopters, Su-35 fighter jets, and Yak-130 training jets. Sardar Syed Medifarhi, Iran's Deputy Minister of Defense and Armed Forces Support, highlighted these acquisitions as part of broader efforts to advance Iran's aviation capabilities. This expansion focuses particularly on modernizing helicopter fleets and improving night flight and avionics systems. These acquisitions align with Iran's long-term goals to strengthen its air defense infrastructure. In January 2023, Russian Special Assistant Igor Levitin met with Iran's first vice president, Mohammad Mokbar, to discuss joint production initiatives, particularly in helicopter manufacturing. Amir Mojtabarauhani, CEO of Iran's helicopter support and renovation company, Panha, emphasized Iran's leadership in helicopter maintenance services, a position that could benefit from increased domestic production capabilities through collaboration with Russia. To accommodate the planned Su-35 fleet, Iranian officials have already started laying the groundwork for fortified air bases. Air Force Commander Amir Hamid Vahidi, in a June 2023 interview, underscored the construction of underground air facilities like the Oriol 44 Air Base, aimed at protecting Iran's aircraft from potential attacks, including bunkerbuster munitions. Vahidi also emphasized modernization efforts on legacy aircraft, particularly F-4 and F-14 jets, with enhancements in radar capabilities and extended-range air-to-air and air-to-ground missiles. Iran's diverse fleet currently includes a mix of American-made F-14 Tomcats and F-4 Phantoms, Russian MiG-29 and Su-24 aircraft, and domestically produced jets like the Heza Seek and Khauzar. The recent addition of Mil Mi-28 helicopters, Su-35 fighters, and Yak-130 trainers contributes to the modernization of the Iranian Air Force. Notably, the first two Yak-130 jets, delivered on September 11, 2023, have already been deployed at Shahid Babi Air Base in Isfahan to train pilots for advanced aircraft operations, including those on the Su-35. Iran's efforts to acquire the Su-35 have been years in the making. Earlier in 2024, reports circulated suggesting imminent deliveries of 12 Su-35 jets to Iran, but these claims were subsequently denied by Tehran. Similar expectations have been raised in January 2023, with hopes for deliveries by March of that year, however, logistical delays postponed these plans. Despite these setbacks, Iran's acquisitions of Yak-130 trainers and Mil Mi-28 helicopters demonstrate Iran's continued commitment to advancing its air capabilities. The Su-35 stands out for its enhanced avionics, radar systems, and multipurpose functionality with a maximum speed of Mach 2.25 and an operational range of 3,600 km. The aircraft's active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, enables it to track multiple targets simultaneously, bolstering Iran's strategic air defense potential. Iran's acquisition of Russian military technology, particularly in the field of aviation, has raised international concerns, particularly from the United States. The growing partnership between Iran and Russia occurs against the backdrop of heightened tensions in the Ukraine conflict, with U.S. officials wary of Iran's expanding military capabilities and potential collaboration in weapons production. While Iran has denied allegations of providing weapons to Russia for use in Ukraine,
the defense partnership between the two countries is reshaping military dynamics within the region, with implications for both allies and adversaries. Iran's planned domestic production of Su-30 and Su-35 fighter jets, facilitated by Russian licenses, represents a significant milestone in the nation's military aviation development. Coupled with its recent acquisitions and infrastructure advancements, Iran is positioning itself as a regional air power, capable of maintaining a modernized and formidable air defense network. The implications of this collaboration extend beyond Iran's borders, as neighboring countries and global powers closely watch the evolving defense relationship between Russia and Iran.